When an American grows up in a family of princes and palaces, it's usually the stuff of fiction, but not in this case. In fact, a century ago, we would have called him Prince William. Today, he's simply William. Our Sarah Ferguson brings us the tale, which begins in the beautiful capital of the Czech Republic, Prague. The castle was built in 1556, and our family bought it in 1623. Once upon a time, uh, this came into our family. In a far off land. It's a family collection, and the family is here. There lived a family named Lobkowitz. These two Lobkowitzes, these were For six centuries, the, the leading family. patrons of the arts in what is today the Czech Republic. Why do you do it? We love it. Now, 39 year old William Lobkowitz, an American, lives this fantasy every day. Every day since November 1989, when he watched from Boston as events unfolded here in his ancestral homeland. I'll never forget it as, as long as I live. We were just all saying our, our mouths were open and we were watching the scene unfold on the television and you know we just couldn't believe our eyes. After 40 years of communist rule, the people overthrew the government. Everywhere in Prague and everyone was so happy and excited about the future and I just knew I wanted to be part of that somehow. So 10 years ago, he went back to look for his family's treasures. He found nine castles. A palace, a winery, a brewery, priceless paintings and musical scores, including one dedicated by Beethoven to the seventh Prince Lobkowitz. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. You, you might recognize London. There's the tower in London. Exactly. Where's your tower here? Uh, in your know, castle. Do we, you only have a, we only have a little one with a bell on it. Do you have any dungeons? We do, in the cellars. <laughs> yeah, we do have do some you? dungeons, yeah. Do we don't use those unless there's an extreme case of insubordination. So I better be behave. Yeah, well, I think... Although I, think, I better not ask you I think you'll behave. But, uh, <laughs> and where are the jewels? The jewels? Well, we're talking about so the Tower of London. These are really the jewels. Yeah, they are the jewels. These Is that really good? Cool. Crown jewels they are. Rubens. Bruegel, Canaletto, and Velasquez, a collection that now draws tourists from all over the world. Though sometimes, just sometimes, a tourist can upstage a painting. This is a, a period Dutch piece here, which has something like 65 secret compartments, but don't ask me how you get into them. Uh, Many paintings now on display had been taken by the Nazis. After the war, they were rescued, then stored all over the country. William found them. Please may I have the salt? And the castles. It took him more than three years. Perfect. We went around no, to uh, churches, to um, places where we knew there were children of people that had worked for the family. The problem, the great problem that we had was that my grandfather left with his hat and his coat in 1948. At the time, his grandfather, Max Lobkowitz, was ambassador to Great Britain. <laughs> But in February 1948, he was in Czechoslovakia when the communists sealed the borders. His wife, still in London, messaged that she was dying. Max was given a three-day pass. He never went back. On the 30th anniversary of Max's death three years ago, William and his family opened the castle Nella Hosevitz, Nella for short, to the public with the exhibit called Six Centuries of Art Patronage. President Vaclav Havel was there. William now rents out the castle for concerts and conferences, weddings and dinners. He also runs a travel company, all to keep this place running. One main source of, of income for us, unfortunately, has been to sell all the things that it took us years to get back. We had no other choice. So we've had to sell about 80% of our property, unfortunately. Helping him to pursue his dream, as well as to make a life here in the new kingdom. A princess, a partner, Alexandra, a teacher he knew in America, now his wife. Yeah! 
Their two children often play in the castle courtyard while their parents work inside. Mommy, it's Cinderella. I know. And if it seems like a fairy tale life, home is not a castle. It's a small flat in Prague. It's hardly a fairy tale existence. We're, we're very practical. We don't have visions of living in castles and living a sort of fairy tale life. But it's probably part of our you know, work ethic coming from the United States. 333 stříbrných stříkaček stříkalo. That means 333 silver swans jumped over the lazy roof or something like that. It's a language that would have tripped off his tongue had he lived here a hundred years ago, as well as the title, Prince. First Prince Lobkowitz, the second Prince Lobkowitz, the third Prince Lobkowitz, the sixth Prince Lobkowitz. So where does the Prince William come from? You're, you're known as Prince William, so where does the actual, how does it go back? It, it goes back to service to the emperor. It's not a subject he really wants to talk about. Though his brewery was bottling Prince, the beer, when we arrived. The oldest brewery in the Czech Republic. They've been making beer since 1379. This is what you inherited with, with the castle. You also yes. ha inherited the winery. Yes. The family businesses, the brewery and the winery, are what William's counting on to finance restorations in the future. Nastravi. Nastravi. Well, we're coming down to the family crypt, or more accurately, what's left of it. Right. Uh, watch your but, step. But this here. is where all your ancestors are buried? Yes. For now, his challenge is to save his family's history and to keep it alive. We wanted to come back here and be part of the, the new times here. But uh, also, um, I very quickly had to say, well, it's very serious business, because the ultimate objective is to save these places. So far, it's a tale with a happy ending. The only question, I think, is how much we're able to do how quickly. And whatever we're not able to finish, the next generation will finish. For today, Sarah Ferguson, Prague. And if you want to find out more about the castles or preserving Czech culture, you can log on to our website at today.msnbc.com. Coming up, tips on how to get your finances in order for the new year. But first, this is Today on NBC.